to Mini Monologue. If you've not been here before, I do all sorts of unboxings. Recently, we've been heavily concentrating on Blood Bowl since the start of the year. I know you guys are probably either, if you're a 40k player and you don't play Blood Bowl or an AOS player, you're thinking, where's that kind of content? I'm concentrating on a lot of Blood Bowl because I'm really enjoying it. And the channel's going that way. And a lot of people are supporting me from the Blood Bowl community. So that's why we're seeing a lot of Blood Bowl on the channel. Talking of support, obviously, we've got the awesome Two Drunk Flings who I work with. Do check out their YouTube channel and check them out on SoundCloud and all the, all the different platforms. I obviously use um, them on Spotify to listen to. I listen to them. They're a really great, great bunch of guys and talk about Blood Bowl in a very fun and imaginative way. Also, Alan, read the rules. So I just thought I'd say that again. This week, I'm talking to you about one of the sponsors of the channel, which is Old Castle. Old Castle have backed my channel now for a good long time. They send me stuff to unbox from their products. Um, I really appreciate their support, so thank you to Johnny and all the guys at Old Castle. This week, we're looking at some things which they've done for me on request, in a way, because um, obviously they do a lot of dice cups, and we're gonna do a mass dice cup unboxing real soon. Look out for that either next week or the week after. It will be coming soon, but we would. I'm just sorting out all the dice cups that they've sent me. Um, but I said to them, look, I play Skaven for Blood Bowl and you don't really do anything for Skaven. Is there anything you can do? And they said, leave it with me. So I did. And then when the package came through recently, I had, they said, all the Skaven stuff's for you, enjoy it. I was like, okay. So I got, got the package open and straight away, I came to this awesome Skaven dice cup, which they've done for me, which has Skaven symbols and little warpstone gems in. I'll do a proper close up in a minute when I do a proper unbox. It's not really an unboxing this one. It's just showing you some of the stuff they'll do on request if you've got ideas. It's more of a case of if you've got an idea and you want, like you, for example, play a team like Kemri and you wanted something, you've got an idea for emblems on a dice cup. I just told them I wanted Skaven ones and this is something they came up with and it's a great little dice cup. I'll do close-ups in near the end of the video. But then they also went one step further. Um, they do a lot of things where they'll put your emblem on it um, or your name or whatever. So they made me this for Skaven, which is like a shuriken star um, for a scatter template. And obviously, I'll, again, I'll, we'll take a proper look at this up close in just a minute. They made me the full throwing template with mini monologue in it obviously if i can get it in the right so that's short so quick short long and bomb and obviously i'll do a close-up of this and again it's that's there with 3d printing you've got to take a little bit of time but that's obviously the throwing thing it's got mini monologue on there and it's got all the all the scaven symbols and obviously i'll do a close-up of this again in just a moment and i'll talk about it a little bit more they also obviously did me turn counters and reroll counters, again with the Skaven emblem on it. And it was all because I wanted a Skaven set. Now, if you've, you're you dying for a set to go with your Bretonian team or your, come up with some ideas, email Old Castle, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. They also sent me a dice tower. Now this is their dice tower they do. It's got, a, it, this would be great if you were building a stadium because this would fit into the corner of a stadium, no problem. The top is magnetized on like that and it works really, really well. Again, they put mini monologue in the top for me. You could have the stadium name, your name, whatever you wanted put in there. They put mini monologue in there for me. You can paint these up. I will be looking to paint this up at some point um, and I'll show you that when I'm done. But what we'll do is we'll swap the camera angle around and give you some close-up shots of some of the stuff they've done for me. Do go check out Our Castle. They've supported my channel no end since, since they got in contact with me. They're a great bunch of people and will do things for you. Um, so check out the links down below and we'll look at this stuff a little bit more closely. So let's take a closer look at some of the stuff I've just been showing you. You've got the throwing template. Some will say, well, that's not the same thickness as the Games Workshop one. It's a throwing template. Come on, guys. As long as it does what it says on the tin, what you're worried about. It obviously has quick, short, long and bomb written on it. It has the Skaven, em Skaven emblems on it that I wanted, which is really cool. And then it's got my name blazing across the middle. Now. If you were running a tournament, you could get the tournament and give this away as a gift for your attendees. You could get the name of your channel, you could get your name, you could get your team name. They'll do whatever you want. This is what I love about Old Castle. They're doing some brilliant stuff. All the links are down below for all this, by the way. So that's the throw-in template. Hopefully you can see it all right there. Then you've got the scatter template, which again is a Skaven emblem. Um, each one of the little kind of parts of the shuriken throwing star 
has a number on it for your scatter. Again, some people might say, well, it's not 100% legal. It doesn't really. It does what it says on the tin. It's thematic for the for the team. You've got your re-roll counters or turn counters, both of a Skaven emblem. All of these can be painted, by the way. And then you've got the dice cup, which again has the Skaven emblem in the middle, little warpstone green things, little rat emblems running through it, and these kind of hatched hex markings all the way around it. So each, you know, it's got kind of three versions of that on it. And it's really thematic for me to, to use. So I'm really pleased with these. I'll be using them in future games for my league games. So do look out for that on the channel because I am trying to film more game footage for you real soon. So that's the stuff they made for me for my Skaven team. But then they also sent me, as I said in, earlier on in the video, this dice tower. Now they've done this one in purple. I don't know if you can see, but it says mini monologue in there has a magnetic top which you just has a little dimple to help you take it off these would look great if you were building them into a corner of a stadium that you were building or anything like that so i think these are awesome the way they work is it's a simple kind of you put your dice there and roll it down and i'll do you an example to show you how good it is i'll take my halfling dice and just roll them down like that and that was a a seven so I'm going to be using this. I'm probably going to paint this because I think I'm going to paint the ball a brown, do the tops in a silver and do something with the actual bottom there. It's not that I don't like the purple, but it's one option to do it in that color. Personally, I'm probably going to re repaint it. That's just me. So again, these are all 3D printed. There's a magnet on the top. So just pop that back on. So once you finish with it, if you built it into a stadium, it just will look like a really cool corner piece. Do go check these out on the old castle page or everything I've just shown you, I'll pop links for down below. Hope you enjoyed this look at more old castle stuff. Let me know if you want to see more down in the comments. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet for mini monologuing, you've been lurking in the background. I do know that a lot of people watch and haven't subscribed. So do hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like this video and I'll see you next time.